Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about the resolution of resolution. I preach this all the time in rooms. It's the goal. It was the goal in my multiple channel facility to try to get two channel resolution with multiple speakers. Got close, but can't do it. I don't think it can be done, to be honest with you. Multiple channel speakers versus two. Too much energy to try and manage uh, all the reflections and the balance between the direct and but get close, you know, you get close. The main thing is to get the resolution of the room right. So we have pressure, reflections, waves and rays, right? We've talked about this. This is low, this is mids and highs. This is ocean, this is sunshine. We've talked about this many, many times. An example of pressure is modes. Excited air, won't fit, dimensional issue. Reflections, what's, what's, causes, what's the end result of a lot of reflections? Reverberation. So those are the main categories that we work with. It's not that complicated. I, I don't know why people can't understand these relationships. So we'll keep going back to the basics and keep explaining. Hopefully over time it'll work. So pressure less than 100. It's wave energy, remember. The reason we use 100, 125 as breakpoints because that, that's the frequency breakpoint for treatment. Everything below 100 takes a different, completely different form of treatment than everything above. So that's kind of why we use that as a breakpoint. Foam, you can get foam to start at 100 cycles. Our four inch deep foam can start at 100. So that's easy to treat that particular pressure. But when you get down in the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, you need special technology to do that. We all know that the low frequency fundamental has an impact on the harmonics, right? They're all related. The mom and the dad are, are the fundamentals and the kids are the harmonics. First order, second order, third order. You can see the similarities, right? We got to start with low frequency resolution management in a room first. What's our first uh, objective in that? Proper dimensions. So for a building new, we got to get the proper dimensions to start to minimize problems. You won't eliminate, you'll minimize. The goal is to minimize down to a level that the distortions that are left will really respond well to treatment. That's the goal. Okay, there's no 100% here. Get that out of, uh, out of your head. It's management, below nuisance values, below a lot of uh, thresholds that we, we go. But here's, here's the goal. The room must be able to hold the fundamental, the 30, 40, 50, 60, long enough to make way for the harmonic. So many rooms, they load. When 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 cycle energy gets dumped into them, car crash explosion, they hold on to that energy, okay, for just a brief period of time. And then it, it produces distortion. So the goal is to hold on to the fundamental the room needs to hold on to the fundamental as long as it can. Well, what are the factors that contribute to how long it can hold? The dimensions and the treatment. You fill a room full of foam, you have no low frequency management. You fill a room full of diaphragmatic absorption, you'll have a lot of low frequency management and you need a lot in these small rooms. So we're holding the fundamental long enough so that the harmonic can be heard. Okay, because it's a little bit weaker. Children are weaker than the parents, right? Parents are adults, children are children by definition. Here's a good example, holding the door for someone. Hold the door for someone so they can go through. You're there first, you're holding the door so they can get through. Think of them as the harmonic and you're the, the room treatment. You're, you're holding the fundamental long enough, the door, so that the harmonic can walk through. And that takes the proper treatment. It takes the proper treatment with the proper rate and level. And absorption is the only way for low frequency. I hear this low frequency diffusion stuff all the time. It's nonsense. There's no need to talk like that or speak like that. Low frequency energy is managed through absorption. That's it. Okay, you're not going to diffuse your way out of room modes. Think about that. Okay. Diaphragmatic absorption, the most powerful, bar none. Membrane and Hemholtz. Hemholtz is frequency specific, not good rates, so you need a lot of them. They're, they're okay for fine tuning. 
Membrane is the cousin to diaphragmatic. Similar processes, just not enough rate. If you're going to take up all the space a membrane requires, go to diaphragmatic. It's the same amount of space and 10 times the horsepower. Our carbon inside the diaphragmatic absorber, which has been around for years, it's not our technology. It'd be the equivalent with cars, for you car guys. A nitrous system, a supercharger, and a turbo. All in one vehicle, all in one engine. That's how powerful diaphragmatic is. That may mean something to some of you and completely nothing to others, and I get that. But it's a huge, huge difference. It's just night and day. 12 square feet of our carbon diaphragmatic absorbers will get 1 to 125 to 1 1.5 dB at 30 hertz per 12 square feet. That's one unit. That's a lot of power. Now it's 230 pounds, but that's what it takes to get that kind of wave energy, right? It needs a lot of horsepower. It's a, lot of, it's a strong energy, so you need a lot of horsepower to solve it. The resolution of resolution. Think about it. I mean, we have numbers all day long on amplifiers. Well, this has a 0 .005 THD, total harmonic distortion. What's that sound like? Well, it better sound like nothing because it's distortion. Same thing in a room. We got to seek the resolution of the room just like we seek the resolution of our gear. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.